Welcome everyone. Today I will show you some updates I've made in my dot files. This is a very quick video because uh, I assume that uh, you have watched my install guide and are just here because something didn't work quite right. And this may be because I've uh, updated some stuff in my GitHub and um, that's why some of the stuff didn't work. So I got some questions of you guys and I tried to solve it and answer it today. So the first thing is I've switched from Alacrity, this terminal, I've switched from that terminal to Kitty. Now <clears throat> from the appearance it doesn't really uh, have a lot of difference but uh, the main switching point for me was because in Kitty you have font ligatures and that's for example you type not equal and you will get that symbol. Now if I go out over it I can edit the uh, specific symbols but uh, in the code it will look like that and I like that a lot so that's because I've switched and you know you have like every symbol over here you have bigger than equal smaller than equal you have these uh, big arrows you know stuff like that <clears throat> you even have like this and that's what I'm using by the way in the terminal if you saw this sign so yeah i switched from alacrity to kitty and all you need to do i've already um, updated it so in the terminal you can just type sudo pacman as kitty so like that sudo pacman as kitty then you can download it and over here you will find the configuration files and you can just as always um, you can go into pacman uh, ranger and then config and over here you can just paste this is the path over here dot config kitty kitty dot conf and you can just Grab this and place it over here. And of course, you have all the key bindings. You can take a look at that. Right, that's the first thing. Now, in case you prefer to stay with Alacrity and you have uh, you have got my dot files, please don't forget that in dot um, config. Uh, i3 config you have to change the terminal over here uh, line uh, 46 start the terminal you have to change that to alacrity like that otherwise when you press command enter nothing will show up because you don't have kitty installed but if you want to stay with kitty you can just leave it like that okay that's the first point. The second point is I have now uh, switched from pack to packer and these are NeoVim uh, package managers and they're basically the same but packer um, in the config file is a little bit more organized I guess. As you can see this is packer now i will uninstall it just so you can see how it's done because i've got some questions from that so this is the github of packer just search for packer.nvim <clears throat> and then over here you can see quick start and this will be the installation path now i will go to this path and i will just delete it so we are on the same page so i go to local share and vim site like that and i've got a folder in there pack and go inside pack 
and as you can see I have a folder packer and now I will remove that like that and now if I exit and open up NeoVim as you can see we have the bare bones NeoVim without any configuration now the first thing you will have to do is if you had pack already installed go to this local share and vim site and pack this is the whole path home your username dot local share and vim site pack and you will find here a folder called pack and you have to remove that then you can grab this it doesn't matter in which location you are and just paste it like that and now if we go again to this uh, path pack as you can see we have a folder called packer i will exit and now let's see i will open up a new workspace now if i open neovim <coughs> You can then use packer install like that and then it will just install all the necessary packages if you face an error don't worry about that click enter like that okay now you can enter again then you can run this command over here oq depths as you can see three sitter is working c o q depths like that <coughs> and c o q is for the auto completion okay process exited okay then we can quit out again I will exit and as you can see everything should work fine so for example I will go into um, rust as you can see we have here inline hints we have the information like that tooltips by the way this you can open with shift k just hover over it and press shift k like that you will get the information as you can see now we should have lsp so if i type that and as you can see it gives me a warning like that and we should have auto completion let and as you can see here are the auto completion uh, let test equal true and as you can see everything is working fine okay then uh, background instead of pack updates in PICOM so I suggest you also take the PICOM configuration file from me and just paste it inside here dot config PICOM and you can just paste it over here and <clears throat> I just made it a little bit more transparent and as you can see the active window is a little bit more uh, is lighter than the inactive one so you can differentiate between them yeah like that updates in status age so I have actually fixed some stuff so you can just grab the set as age dot file <coughs> that's the one over here set as age and you can just um, put it inside your home directory because as you can see this is in my home directory like that and the more most important thing is for example I have now run this command right and before 
when I exit this terminal, this would be gone. But now it uh, keeps this information in the history file and you will always have these hints, even if you quit out of the terminal. That's pretty nice. So you can just type that and you will automatically get this command. For example, exit, as you can see, like that. And I've also done some aliases. So for example, let me just open it actually. <coughs> As you can see, here are all the aliases. Uh, I will resize that a little bit. Maybe that's too much, like that. As you can see, here are the aliases. So I've added uh, this and uh, some Git aliases and Pac-Man aliases, so for example, instead when you want to update the system typing always s y u like that you can just type pacman update and it's the same thing like that and then updates in lsp so <clears throat> the main uh, thing i have done is actually let me just see LSP configuration. Now, the one thing I've added is Rust tool. So instead of Rust analyzer or analyzer, I have now added Rust tools, and it has some nice um, additional stuff you can use, as you saw before. We have, for example, these uh, inline hints, and you know, we have a debugger, and yeah. And by the way, as you can see, we even have live grab inside there. We can find files, so that's really neat. And the last thing I wanted to show you because I really liked it. Um, if I open a new workspace, as you can see, this uh, wallpaper, I found actually a Git page or a GitHub page, and I've linked it inside my uh, summary, and it's this, as you can see, wallpapers. And I found this amazing Git page, and these are Everforest wallpapers. So these wallpapers are harmonizing very well with the Everforest team. So I really like that. You can just, you know, open some of them. You can download it like that. Now, if I go to download, as you can see, if I, for example, want this one, I can just set it. I will go to um, config files, i3, and then I just can search for wallpaper. And as you can see, over here, Japanese store. And as you can see, the LSP is even working inside here. Uh, save. And now, if I uh, reload the i3 window manager, command shift R, as you can see, we have this uh, wallpaper and they are very nice, they work very well with uh, Everforest, so I suggest you take a look at it. So I will now uh, change it like it was. As you can see, wallpaper and what was the name? Downloads Forest was the name. Nope, not 
forest. Flowers. Okay. Flowers. Dot PNG. All right. I guess that's all. Also, I've made some changes in Polybar. If you want to take a look. Um, that's the one over here. You can just grab it. You just need to grab the config. The launch stayed the same. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you like it and see you next time.